Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. Welcome back to the Penetration Testing Bootcamp. In this video, we're going to be talking about UDP scanning with Nmap. All right, so the first thing we need to do before we actually take a look at any scans is we need to understand the fundamental differences between UDP and TCP as protocols. Right, so with TCP, uh, we know that this is a connection oriented or connection based protocol in that you need to establish a connection when trying to transmit data between a client uh, and a server or a host and a target. Right now with Nmap scans, we are typically just sending uh, we're just sending requests via TCP and of course I'm talking about TCP now. Uh, we're sending requests and based on the responses, Nmap is able to identify whether the port is open and closed. And the same goes for UDP. However, with UDP, given that it's not a connection, it's it's essentially a connectionless protocol in that there is no TCP three-way handshake or is there, there is no handshake at all. Uh, what you have is you just have a client and a server and they just send data to each other. Uh, and uh, when talking about the requests and responses, you can now see that things really will, will start to change because we're not dealing with the same TCP flags here like SYN, SYNAC, so on and so forth. We all, we're all we now dealing with, uh, with ICMP as well, right? So a typical UDP connection is as follows, or uh, we can actually take a look at the responses and based on the responses, we're able to determine whether the port is open or closed. All right, so if I send a, a UDP request to a target or to a server for a particular port, uh, and when talking about UDP services and ports, examples of this are DNS, SNMP, uh, TFTP, I believe. Uh, so yeah, so, so there are quite a few important protocols that we have on UDP. So I send a request, a UDP request, uh, to a server or a uh, a target on a particular port. Now, if the server or that uh, there is no response from the target or that particular port, then it means the port is open, right? However, if there is a response, the response will typically be an ICMP uh, port unreachable response that will actually tell us that that port is closed, right? And we can actually uh, we can actually view this with Wireshark as I just as I demonstrate in the previous videos. And this is quite interesting. Now, the thing about this is uh, because it actually has to send a request to each of the of the, of the ports um, on, on the target, and of course, you can specify that port. Uh, but my point is, it's going to be it's going to take a while based on the amount of services and ports you have running, if at if at all. And um, again, it, it's a, it's a very difficult protocol to to sort of analyze in terms of the of the responses because. If there is a firewall in place, there could be mechanisms set in place set in place to actually filter through the the, the responses, uh, or to to actually block any responses from being sent. Hence, uh, you you're not able to to tell if a port is open because, imagine if a port is closed and uh, the firewall is filtering any ICMP uh, port unreachable uh, responses that are being sent. Then that means you you'll think that all of the ports are open. So you can see that this this is where things get a bit tricky. Right, so running an Nmap scan, a uh, UDP uh, scan with Nmap is as follows. So we just type in SU, so a lowercase s and an uppercase U, and the target, right? Now, the, these, I I don't think I have any boxes running any uh, UDP services. You pretty much find them with um, CTF challenges, UDP, uh, things like Volnub or Hack the Box, and we'll be taking a look at all of these. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to target my Windows box, uh, 192168, sorry, uh, 0.1.38, right? And... Um, we are going to analyze this with Wireshark. Remember, we are sending a UDP request, right? And uh, the response, if the port is open, uh, they, there is not going to be any response. If the port is closed, we're going to get an ICMP port and reachable response, which tells us that particular port is closed, right? So I'm just going to open up Wireshark here and uh, we'll immediately begin the capture. There we are, and I'll just hit enter. All right, and this scan is running and I know we're going to have a lot of traffic from other sources. So we can see, let's just pause it here, all right, because we have quite a few requests. Uh, have we got any responses? Um, these have all been, uh, I believe, just responses. So no ICMP, resp yeah, we, I think we do have a few. No, that's ARP. Uh, do we have any ICMP responses? That is probably because the firewall is blocking that. So if I try and run the scan on... Um, on one of my Linux boxes, that should give us the results we're looking for. Because I think I have blocked a UDP 
on Windows. So I'm just going to hit enter and let's see if we can get any response. There we are. So we're getting the responses now and it tells us destination unreachable or port unreachable and that is ICMP. So that tells us that those ports that are being scanned are currently closed. So I'll, I'll pause it here. So you can see it's going through all. Uh, if I just click on, an, on a test packet here, you can go to the ICMP response. So it's type three that tells us the destination is unreachable and code three port is unreachable or the port is closed. And then of course you, you have your UDP. Uh, you can go through your UDP data here and that tells the source destination, etc. Um, so from here, you can pretty much guess or understand how, how everything is working. So again, we're sending UDP uh, you can see we're sending a UDP request and it gives you the information right over here and uh, it's sending it on particular ports. So the source and destination port is listed here. Um, if we go all the way up, because these were quite a few requests, I'm just going to start somewhere here. Uh, so we got a few unreachable um, responses here. So uh, we can actually just open one that's, I think, more appropriate for this. So let's take a look at this one here. So you can see it goes through all the, the, the ports and it's looking for a response. The response, again, if, if, if the port is open, it will not respond. If it's closed, it will get an ICMP port unreachable response. And that tells uh, the Nmap that that port is closed. So uh, again, again, th 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 this sheds light on how Nmap works fundamentally. It essentially works by sending or crafting sp uh, sp special packets, of course, with special TCP uh, flags or with uh, with of course with uh, UDP it knows the protocols to use like uh, ICMP and it knows how to analyze responses and then based on the responses it's then able to to get to actually determine wh what ports and services are running and what devices are on the network so that's how to run UDP scans if you have any questions let me know in the comment section or at the hackersploit forum at forum.hackersploit.org and I'll be seeing you in the next video